I want to take just a few moments and show you the two new tools added to Lightroom CC. This is where Adobe has now done what they said and split off the Lightroom 6 from Lightroom CC. Lightroom 6 is getting the camera raw updates and bug fixes, but these new features are only coming or are now only available to Lightroom CC. That is the subscription service. The first is Dehaze. This is a slider that now can remove haze from your scene. This was possible before through a couple of different options, but now we've got it all in one slider. So I've got the scenic view here with certainly some haze or mist, you might call it as well. They suggest that you adjust the white balance of the image before applying the dehaze control. So I'm going to come over here. Actually, the very first thing I like to do is always apply my base preset, which just does some a little bit of clarity, a little bit of vibrance, and applies a lens correction. Now, this is a little blue, so I'm just going to warm it up a tiny bit. Just pressing the up arrow over the warmth temperature. Now I can find the dehaze slider under effects. It's right here at the amount, at the bottom, dehaze. Dragging it to the right removes dehaze, which to me seems a little backwards, but I guess it is dehazing it, so positive, sure. Uh, and you can see that it really does add a lot of punch, contrast, and clarity. And the image can get a little contrasty, and you can see it's tending back towards the blue in the distance as well. If you drag to the left, you can add a haze or undehaze it. You say, well, why would you want to do that? Well, that allows you to give things a little bit more of a, you know, ethereal, dreamy feel. Uh, it doesn't work so well with this image, but maybe a nice portrait. Uh, or eh, I could come over here to this waterfall picture I have. Very hazy at the top, but then the rest not so much. So I could drag this to the left and add a little bit of haze to kind of feel a little more even. Honestly, I don't think that looks good though. I'd go to the right and you can see that you can use it to kind of just punch up the image in general. So let's go back here to the right. Somewhere around there looks good. Again, with all sliders, you want to be careful not to overdo it. The other big change or adjustment is that we now have local white and black sliders for your gradient and radial adjustment filters. This is a nice feature. Before, when you come in here to the uh, graduated filter or the radial filter, you have all of these options. You now have the additional option of white and black sliders. Those are not their pre-2015.1 release is what they're calling this. So now what that means is I can drag my gradient up through this area right here. Uh, and um, let's change this to just general exposure. But of course we can pop other things up too. And let's just brighten this a little bit. And now I can adjust individually my white and black slider. So I can bring my white slider up a little bit and bring my black slider down a little bit. And again, helps kind of even out that contrast through that area. So. That's local white and black adjustment sliders, the dehaze under effects right here. And we also have a tool for moving easily our images from Photoshop Elements to Lightroom. I'm not going to demonstrate that one. I don't have Photoshop Elements, but if you do and you've been itching to move to Lightroom, it is now much easier. What else is new on Creative Cloud? We have an update for Lightroom Mobile. You now have video support. You can bring in your videos on your iPhones and iPads, uh, and they'll sync over to the web and desktop as well, and vice versa. And you've got a couple more adjustment tools. You can add vignettes, you can adjust the color channel and black and white mix, and you now have Tone Curve, which is quite powerful. There is no information yet if that's available for, or there is no word on when that will be available for the Android version of Lightroom, which always feels a step behind or two. And additionally, both Lightroom CC and Lightroom 6, as I said, have gotten the new camera and lens profile supports, as well as a host of bug fixes. Are you excited about the dehaze filter or the localized white and black adjustment sliders? Leave a comment right down below. What feature would you like to see next in Lightroom? Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.